Well, good evening. Look at that, no coat. No coat at all. It's over 50 degrees here. Can you believe that? It's April 2nd, so no April Fool's joke here. <laughs> ah, 51 degrees. That's like crazy. Also crazy. This is the first time I've set eyes on the Arthur M. Anderson this season. There they are waiting, waiting their turn for the lock. Uh, the lock here is pretty busy at the moment. Um, presently, of course, we have the Arthur M. Anderson. <laughs> I like to repeat myself. The Presque Isle is leaving the lock upbound. And ooh, is it the American Century? Is tied up waiting to come down the lock. I believe, though, that the Arthur M. Anderson will go next. If I paid attention to the order on the radio well enough. So I don't know if I can catch the Presque Isle. I think I saw them uh, making their leave. So I'm going to go down here just, just a touch. But then I need to go the opposite direction to catch the others, so... <laughs> Let's see... Where's a good spot? Shove my arm through the fence here. I guess this is okay. Is there... I guess still shrouded in trees though. That's the business end, I guess, of the Arthur M. Anderson. First, they laid up in Duluth, so I believe this is their first upbound trip of the season as well. So, there they are, the historic, historically significant Arthur M. Anderson. I know I've said this before, but I can't see them without thinking about what that night must have been like, the night the Fitzgerald sank. Oh. Yeah. Always on my mind. But we're gonna untangle myself from the leash. Come on, dog. I know you're confused, huh? <laughs> I don't think he realizes how many ships he actually found, but he's about to. So we're going to boogie on this way to the west. Uh, don't know if I'll be able to catch up to the Presque Isle or not, but at the very least, I'm pretty sure it's the American Century. We will uh, we'll get eyes on that footer <laughs> waiting to come down the lock. So we'll be back um, hmm, pretty darn quick. All right, well, we kind of caught up. This is a decent spot. I wish I had my big camera. <laughs> my cell phone will have to do though. At least we'll get a shot here. The Presque Isle on the left making their way out. And uh, who is that? The American Integrity, I think. American Integrity. They're on the right. Let's see if we can. American Integrity. Digital zoom isn't the best, but uh, there we go. So, we kind of, uh, I don't know, is this a double or not? You can see the salty there. That's a funny name, like Bar, Barzitza or something like that. Bar, Barzitz, Barzitza. I know I'm butchering that. They're tied up there at the uh, Algoma Steel. There we go. But I still don't know if he called a double because the uh, American Integrity is not 
moving under power. So, uh, I don't know. I'll leave that up to you guys. What do you think? You gonna call that a double? I know the two geese don't count. <laughs> If I had my big camera, I'd have more zoom, which would be nice, but I'll have to make do. There we go. Um, here in the, uh, the MacLock approach, here I'll just zoom out. So this, yesterday morning, Monday morning, all this was ice. Not very much ice, of course. Well, a little bit. In fact, there was still just a touch of ice, like right over there this morning. But uh, 51 degrees and breeze, that is not <laughs> going to last long. So, we've got some construction going on here. Uh, as I've said before, I have no idea what or why. But the, uh, the keen-eyed viewer will note that the, uh, that like, what was you call it? Was it like a cable derrick? Is that what you call it? Anyway, that was like right over there. <laughs> it's gone. So there used to be two. Actually, used to be three. But now they're all gone. So making way for all the new new construction here for the new lock. I'll zoom back in here and we'll get one last shot of the, uh, the thousand foot integrated tug barge Presque Isle and the uh, thousand foot American Integrity. Right there. There we are. Safe travels. Safe travels. I'll ramble just for a moment. I don't know if you can hear the wind. There's a little bit of a breeze. And you can see uh, by the flag on that really cool flagpole. Like, I feel like I can never get a good angle of it. That's a really cool flagpole. But you can tell by the flag that we have some wind. And we have uh, supposedly a little bit of a storm coming in. Some forecasts say we're gonna get a decent amount of rain. And other forecasts say we could be in for a couple inches of snow. So, <laughs> all by uh, tomorrow evening. So we, we will see the spring in the Upper Peninsula, so you never know. You can't count out the snow for a while yet. And, uh, like my memories popped up on my phone. And a year ago yesterday, we got like nine inches of snow. So, <laughs> there's always the potential. Always the potential. But that's going to do it for this one. Just a second. There we go. I'm trying to be better about being in front of the camera. Uh, it's not a natural thing for me. But <laughs> anyway, that's going to do it. We're going to finish up this walk. Get on with our evening. So hope you're having a great day. Hope you're staying warm like I am right now. <laughs> Nargo and I. He's right there. We will be back. Pretty darn quick, won't we, dog? Yes, we will. Let's go.